Hi Jen, greetings from Bermuda. My name is Tanya and I'm doing the video entry for your housewife life traditions um, contest. I want to do the organized one but I am so not organized this year so uh, we'll stick with traditions. Um, we have two daughters, 11 and 8, and I find a lot of our traditions revolve around them um, or were created because of them. One of which is the Playmobil Advent Calendar. These are enjoyable. Playmobil comes out with a new one um, every year and you just reuse them each year. This is a little cardboard thing that goes on your wall and there's boxes from 124 and you put all the little toys or whatever they are in there and then each day they open one and then there's a cardboard scene that you can put on the table and they kind of create the scene as the month goes on. Um, my advent calendar was this. Um, it was a candy ribbon and um, untie a candy every night when Sandman casts a spell and Christmas Eve will be here by the time you reach the bell. So it was a whole little verse that my mom had typed up on the typewriter back in the day. And you would, you would untie a candy um, every night and when you got down to the bell you knew it was Christmas Eve. This, I don't put the candy on it anymore and I just, I hang it on the wall, but it's very special. I'm, I actually lost my mom a year and a half ago to cancer. So um, Christmas is hard but every day is hard <laughs> without her. Um, but this is just very special to me and I hang it up every year. Um, our kids have Twas the Night Before Christmas books. My husband actually picked this out and the year that our first daughter was born, she was born in 2000, it's like um, Victorian kind of pictures, just really sweet. They And they have the classic Santa, like he's just jolly. Um, so we bought that in 2000 for our first daughter and then when our second daughter was born we bought a second copy of it so that they would each have their own book. And what we do is one was born in 2000 and one was born in 2003. So on an odd year we read her book and on an even year we read the other one's book. So where it's 2011 we're reading the odd number book um, for the one that was born in 2003. I know it's strange but that's just what we do. And it keeps it fair, keeps it even. And this idea, um, I actually found this way before we had kids and I took it out of a magazine and I thought it was the cutest thing. What you do is you take your child's letter to Santa and you stitch the letter. So you just take their letter and I had carbon paper. My mom gave me some carbon paper back in the, from the typewriter days. And I put that under her letter and traced it onto cross stitch fabric and then you just do like a little straight stitch and you stitch their lettering. So that was hers, and that was my other daughter's, and you can see one's done in red and one's done in green. Our oldest daughter, Santa, always brings her things in red paper, and our youngest daughter, he always brings her things in green paper. It's just how he rolls. Um, music is very important. We always listen to the same CDs every Christmas. Once in a while we'll add a new one to the collection, but these are the classics for us. Um, Joy to the World. The Boston Pops Orchestra, John Williams. That's my husband's favorite. Um, I'm a Grinch girl. I like the Grinch, so we like to listen to that. And it's not officially Christmas until I hear Band-Aid, do they know it's Christmas. I'm a child of the 80s, what can you do? Um, and then the kids had this one, High Five Christmas. I don't think that show's on anymore. It was like Discovery Kids. Um, it was like five people and they sang. And then John Denver and the Muppets. Um, this is an old one. And this might actually be around this Christmas where the Muppet movie um, is out around. So anyway, cute, uh, cute CD. As for movies, my husband likes Charlie Brown and I know you're a Charlie Brown fan. I like um, Snoopy and Woodstock. I don't really understand why Snoopy's on his dog house fighting the Red Baron. It, maybe that's just in the Great Pumpkin one. I don't know. So I always found that strange. Um, and my husband has a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. You can get them at Walgreens. We gave it to him the other year. It has the little wooden stand and the like, sad little Christmas tree and the one red um, Christmas bulb on it. So he always takes that and puts it on his desk at work. And um, I like the Rudolph movies. The stop animation with the little fuzzy Rudolph and um, Baby New Year with the ears. Um, I love those ones. And the Grinch. We always watch the cartoon Grinch um, when we decorate our tree. That's one of our traditions. 
and Santa does not get milk in our house. He gets Coca-Cola because the Coke bottle has the classic Santa on the Coke bottle and the kids were like, well, that's Santa's, like, hello, his face is on it. So, um, so Santa gets Coke and sometimes he gets um, home-baked cookies and sometimes he gets Ho-Ho's. We found Ho-Ho's when we lived in the States, so he used to get Ho-Ho's. Anyway, and then Easter Bunny gets orange Gatorade because the kids think that he's going to think that that's carrot juice. So <laughs> he gets orange Gatorade. And as for our tree, that's our, that's, you know, that's our big thing. Um, I do have a uniform tree over in our living room and it's all stars and bells. The bells are very special. My mom gave those um, to my sister and I. And, but it's, everything's white lights. I always do white lights. Um, and even this tree, but this tree is a mishmash of ornaments. Um, some were given to us, some are handmade by the kids, and the tree used to make me crazy because it wasn't uniform, but what I've realized over the years is that's what's special about it. Um, like this one, my daughter made that. It's just beads on a pipe cleaner with a foam star, but how cute is that? So she made that one, and my little one made this one in kindergarten, it's just, I don't even, I think they're beans, I don't even know what those things are. Um, and she stuck those on a little wreath, and the teacher put her picture in the middle. It's adorable. And this one my daughter made last year, and she stitched the sock, put the little bells and the sequins on it. So stuff like that's special. And then we've got weird ones like this. This is a three-legged deer. Um, <laughs> but he was like that when I got him. We went to a din dinner theater. I don't know if it was for New Year's. This was years ago before we had kids. And the deer was hanging on the tree and I just thought it was hilarious that someone took the time to hang him on the tree even though he was broken. So I took him and I, I know that's wrong, but I just wanted to remember <laughs> that evening because we had a fun time. So I took the deer. So, sorry about that. And then this has always been my favorite decoration. And I always held on to it and then I was always the last one to put it on our tree growing up. Um, it's very 60s, very 70s. It's Humpty Dumpty on a rocking chair. It's a fuzzy rocking chair. I don't know. I love it. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it just reminds me of being a kid at Christmas. So those are our traditions. Um, I hope you like my entry and I just want to thank you Jen for all the videos that you make. I've watched every single one and I've watched them more than once. You have changed my life. I have uh, well, okay, I'm not ready to do an organized for Christmas video, but I'm slowly getting things organized in my house. I used to think it was organized compared to you, not at all. Um, but you have great tips. I love how you share everything and help us get through um, our crazy life and try to keep it organized. So thank you so much. Oh, and I have packet cubes. I really I recommend those to everybody because um, my entire family is going to have packet cubes because they're enjoyable. Um, anyway, thank you so much. Happy holidays. Take care. Travel safe. All right. See ya.